From the land where the sun rises lived a people as old as Mother Nature. They were happily living, <laughs> prosperous, hard working, contented. Don't let anybody understand your point. Hmm? I will prepare your favorite. I will do work for you when you come back. Eh? Uh, I should promise you before you put this miss, I'll come and pick up my bicycle. Okay? That's right. You know you have ready. You've got to school. Run, run, go to school. And if at all, they loved each other. <laughs> they are the children of the Almighty God. Ruled by men with dark hearts. Ripped of all they had, including their right to freedom and a life. They were attacked with no means of self defense, starved to death without an offense. Even children, we are not excluded. They we are told war, but it was a genocide. They were mothered with impunity, but died with dignity. is the mirror through which the truth we see. They never feared their fears. They faced their fears. Freedom is what they believed. And they died for what they believed. That we may leave this jungle that we may leave this god forsaken contraption that we may live in freedom again to ensure that they are not forgotten a generation exists filled with the reincarnated spirit of the freedom fighters because without them 
they are incomplete. I am the Yasra, as old as mother nature, as old as mankind. Though intimidations and strength from the battles of God have won with me, but even if it's one hurt, breathing, possessed by my spirit, soon, just very soon, my children all over the universe will smile in freedom as children of the rising sun. They will smile in happiness again. They will smile in freedom again. I'm sorry, heroes, for the fact that you did not give up fighting for our freedom. We will not give up. Dear friend, we will show that your memories linger to the end of time. My fellow heroes, your name will be written in gold when Biafra comes. You all are the reasons we have come this far. And we will never stop until Biafra comes. Go well, my fellow heroes, as you cannot stop the sun from rising, in the same way, you can't stop Biafra, the land of the rising sun. All of the dead are not a sacrifice. For freedom, they pay the ultimate price. You would ensure the whole world hears about your grievances. Your dead shall never be in vain. Because you lay down your life for us, you will ensure that the Afra comes. Yes, wonderful beer friends across the globe. It is your duty to tell beer friends across the globe that this issue cannot come to an end. This matter cannot come to an end. The issue of Biafra cannot be silenced. Let every man and woman who have added to her pain let the sound of Biafra ache them, chase them for all eternity. Let us honor the dead. Let us honor those who have been buried who we will never know about. Let us honor and remember every man and woman who has paid the ultimate price all because of the issue of Biafra. That as far as there is still one of us remaining, we will never back down. I will say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and to some of you, good night, depending on your time zone. This is Radio Biafra Extra for the avoidance of doubt, and we are streaming live through Radio Biafra London. Radio Biafra London is being anchored by the deputy leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. His name is Mazi Uchi Okafomefo. He is from Abateti. Abateti is in Anambra State, and Anambra State is Biafra land. Mazi Uchi Okafomefo is the man who has assured us that he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. You will not understand, and we don't even beg you to understand, but one day you will. Because nobody takes a kingdom by words, but by action. For in their slightest touch, the command obedience. Mazu Chuka for Mefo is standing on a deputizing capacity on behalf of our supreme leader. His name is Mazen Nandioku Kano. His royal highness, the king of Afali Biku. Afali Biku is a no more here. Omwahia is in Abia State, and Abia State is Biafra land. For almost 60 years, 
53 years on already, this very month, nobody can stand up to speak for the collective interest of the Biafran people until he came. He is the director of Radio Biafra as well as Biafran Television. The one and the only man that commands the loyalty of the Biafran people across the globe. And by the grace of Chuku Kika Biyama, I remember George Onyibe. Under the oath of oath upon oath upon oath to defend, do everything within our power, in truth, in honesty, in righteousness, until Biafra is restored. I come from Abo. Abo is in Delta State, and Delta State is Biafra land. And of course, as always, I will acknowledge the Creator, the one who sits in heaven and presides over the affair of man. For without him, we are gone. Sonemwogoni Osoka Ani ni ni na sina ne de mau. I remain grateful unto the Creator because those who thought that by now we are gone as a people, they would have destroyed, bastardized our blood lineage, and our voice will not be heard again. Every morning they wake up, they hear our voice. Every night before they get to bed, they hear our voice. Our voice is nothing more than the voice of freedom, and it shall hurt all of you. Who dare to stand in our way of freedom? For all eternity, you will drink wine and you will never enjoy it. You will stay in the air condition and you will be sweating. You will die without the privilege of having an honorable bed. All of you who call yourself founding father, come and die. Let's see how you will be buried honorably. Am I talking to Sabu to us? No. All of you running up and down, gossiping and blackmailing your own brother. God will punish all of you. Except those who died, died in vain. And then when he that must come to equity must come with clean hand. Some walk day and night to see how you come in indicted and be destroyed. For what? For God's sake. But everyone who has come with evil intention, in the name of Biafra, all of you will be hunted down like animal. All of you will be disgraced. Not by man, but by the almighty creator. Disgrace beyond imagination await all of you. For in the end, you will know that it is not a bad man. That is this, oh God. But I will stop there this morning anyway. This is me, 30th of me, who we'll remember millions who have died. And some people think that they can silence this blood of these people, the voice of these people. You cannot silence the voice of any man or woman who died for Biafra. And if your hand is clean, it doesn't matter who you are. You cannot blackmail anybody because Biafra itself will come for you. And that is why I pity all the enemy of Biafra. This morning, without wasting much of our time, I want us to look at a topic I simply titled A Long Walk to One Nigeria. A Long Walk. To one Nigeria. Dim Maker or the Juku and General Philip F. Young. In a time like this, they stood up. They stood up to fight that we might be free. Some people just cannot grab the scope of what they did. I have tried to look at Ujuku friends before he died. I didn't see anybody. I may not agree with everything he has done. But the last time I checked, Ujuku was not romancing with anybody. He stayed in Inewi. He observed his people. 
And I know in his heart of heart, he was looking at, is there anyone who can take up this mountain after I am gone? But I'm happy today. Even though he may not be aware. Ujuku, wherever you are, understand that your job is not done. And your brothers you left behind are doing exactly what they are supposed to do. Exceptionally more than well. Ujuku, don't sleep yet. They will say, may you rest in peace. Ojuku, you will rest. Ojuku, but don't sleep. The enemies are inside the heart of the project you started, deeper than you can imagine. Ojuku, don't sleep. This morning, I give you firewood. I give you ass. Ebuye mi akodu nukbobo. Chase them away. Anyone that makes attempt to quench your spirit, so that the sacrifice you made so far will be in vain. Ojuku, chase them. Chase them. And he died. On his expense, some are millionaire today. We are just looking at you. When I talk, I say, but you don't know what is coming. Don't worry. And then I remember General Philip F. Young. And at the clamors of the world, having handed over the sovereign state of Biafra to the terrorists of the Nigerian state, he retired back to his own village. He lived a very lonely life. He never associated with politicians. He did not miss with Yoruba Wawo Safulani. Philip Fion went back to his village. And let me tell you one shocking revelation. Nigerian government approached him with money. They want to give him contract. Maybe he would have killed half of Akwaibon people before he died. Because some of us don't have sense. Ujuku said to the Nigerian representative, Look, young man. I am a general, and I was not concurrent in any way. Go back to who sent you, any idiot who sent you. Go back to them and tell them that I don't need any contract from Nigeria. Nigeria never knew that we have men and women of honor, men and women of integrity, excellent reputation and sentimentally regard. But they saw it in General Philip F. Young. And they said to him, very well then, we shall see. Philippe Fiong lived a very lonely life, a very poor man. His village degenerated to the worst level it has ever been for as far as we can remember. His community and the neighboring community or village were washed up by erosion. Nigerian deliberately ensure that even though he had a car, he could not drive it. No national barrier was given to, to, to him. But the legacy he left behind. And those who are from his community, the ethic, the N and the Bibu, you should walk lifting your head high above all heavens because one of your own came out until his dying moment, he never betrayed Biafra. Philip F. Young, do not sleep. Only those who died of natural cause as a Biafra should go to bed. If you were murdered by Nigerian people, do not go to sleep, I tell you this morning. If Biafran kid you because they want to eat money and stop Biafra from coming, chase them with cutlass and iron. If you see Yoruba or Safulani, chase all of them. For your blood must be avenged. It did not start in your time and it will not end in your time. But all these men, they stood to fight for a city they knew nothing about. But they understand it is the land of the creator, the land of the rising sun. And so all of them have a story to tell. We are their children. What do we know about the sacrifice they made? What do we know about what they represent? And then some people are yapping. They are dragging for position. They are blackmailing. I say, be a friend. Because you don't have sense. Idiots everywhere. And then before our very eyes, the people who died, who we are going to remember, in their grave they weep. I want you to take a clear, just reason a little bit. Each time we come here to talk about Biafra issue, I as a person, I hit it hard on Yoruba and I have no intention to retreat. But I want you to listen very carefully. All the people who brought this evil upon our land, 
Full and is the one eating the benefit. Awosa followed by Awosa. But do you know the people who actually sow the seed of evil? It was the Middle Belt and the Yorubas. You can never come out and accuse one Awosa or Fulani man for directly engaging in this genocide. You don't see them. It is Middle Belt and Yoruba. Sometimes Awosa willing to see idiots that do this job for them. And so when Yoruba man come out, and you are talking about one Nigeria, go back and look at what your fathers has done to keep this evil enclave created by the British. We are not the only one who found ourselves in this circumstance. Many countries of the world found themselves there. Middle better jumping up and down. Full and knees say you are willing to use. And that is what you are. Posterity will judge all of you. Middle bet at least for a while. Maybe they have sense and they move back. And somebody's going to say, hey, let us united and fight for Biafra. I will not follow into that Biafra. Everybody go to your own. Open post kata is what we need for God's sake. And we are uniting and economizing and they are killing us. This is unbelievable. Middle bet moved back. God one is a prayer warrior now. Prayer warrior in every day. But God will not forgive you. Chukwo Kikabiyama will not forgive you, God one. For you sit in Lagos and you slaughtered millions of people. And somewhere along the line. Oh, let them stop talking. We will not stop talking. People must know what you've done. Alive or dead, they will know how rotten you are, God one. I pity for your children. I pity for your daughter. I pity for those who are connected to you. You people don't know what you have started. The only thing that will save all of you, call off Nigeria peacefully. And then maybe we begin to overlook at what happened. Slave trade master, they left and reprogrammed themselves. Colonial terrorists, they left and reprogrammed themselves. You people are the one doing the dirty job for them. And there are things we, we just want to pretend it didn't happen. But they happen. So when you are in Nigeria, you are fooling yourself, talking about one united, indivisible, in territorial, integritarian Nigeria. Are you not ashamed? Let me remind you something this morning. There are countries in the world who have found themselves in the same position we found ourselves. None of them committed heinous crime against their fellow black, like Yoruba, Wosa, Fulani, and Nigerian people did. To the Biafrans. Let us remind ourselves this morning. The British created a country they call Burma. The Burma rejected it. They restructured their country and they renamed themselves Myanmar. The British created a country they called Upper Vota. The so called Upper Vota, they rejected it, they restructured it. And they named themselves Burkina Faso, which means land of the incorruptible people. The same British came and created a country. They call it Gold Coast. These people of Gold Coast, they rejected the name, they restructured it, and they named themselves Ghana. The British created a country known as South Re Rehodesia. They rejected it. They restructured their country and they named themselves Zimbabwe. The British came, they created a country known as Northern Rehodesia. These people rejected it. They restructured their land and they renamed themselves Zambia. The British created Tanzania. The Tanzanian rejected it. They restructured themselves. They called themselves Tanzania. The German created a country known as Colony of Southwest Africa. These people rejected it. They restructured their country. They named themselves Namibia. French created a country they called Dahomey. But these people rejected it. They restructured their country. They called themselves Benin. Belgium created a country they called Zaye. These people rejected it. They restructured themselves. And they call it DROC or Democratic Republic of Congo. The list goes on and on and on. 
but in Nigeria, the British created Nigeria. I will serve full and you will bar or they are dying. Uh, you must leave our one Nigeria. Don't temper with one of our one Nigeria. It is a wine negotiable shame on all of you. Ujuku wanted this to end. You people went to Ghana in Abuli, made a way to restructure Nigeria. The president of Ghana at that time understand what Ujuku was doing. He pleaded with Gowan. Listen to Ujuku. You people go home and set, put your differences aside. Let every sovereign nation emerge. The president of Ghana knew this. Gowan understand this truth. He came back. And British go government gave him phone call from backyard. How can you let Ojuku win you? How can you let Ojuku walk away with it? You people will suffer. The one said to Britain, Ojuku is very intelligent, highly educated, and from the ranking officer in IPU in, 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 in Nigerian army, I do not have what it takes to confront Ujuku. And so in one week, Gowan was promoted by British government to general of all the genera. The idiot, where is your general garment? You will use and dump. And shame and disgrace will follow you to your grave. See, today, you people are fighting to protect what Britain created. This is just the total summary of our leader broadcast. People who are fighting, killing themselves to protect what Britain created. There is an outdate in Igbo land. Those people are anima. I want you to check all African history. All of them rejected the name given to them by the terrorist colonial idiots. All of them rejected. Only in Nigeria you see Yoruba intellectual. Our resolve is here to maintain the territorial integrity of one Nigeria. I was I see one Nigeria, one Nigeria, and Joe Shi. Joe Joe Bele Channel. You are the one killing yourself. And you want me to look at you and say, oh, we are one, let's pray to God, let's unite us. Any God that will unite Nigeria, we will fight with that God one day. No God will do that evil. If God cannot unite Ishmael and Isaac, he will not unite Yoruba, and Yawusa and Igbo. He will not unite us together. You think God is man? You think God is man? But I want you to just take a little reflection because my focus this morning is on nobody than Awolowo. Because while we are going to remember our hero, we are going to look at into what all of you did. All this why they say, oh, Awolowo is a founding father. They give him a space in your currency. Oh, Awolowo, oh, very well. Tinubu is wearing a glass like Awolowo. After all, snake beget snake. Fifty-three years ago today, the Nigerian versus Biafra on civil war ended, or should I say, chain ship. Awolowo left his mark upon the sand of time. This was as recorded in a newspaper headline when Obafemi Awolowo died in 1987. And sure, he did leave this mark upon the sand of time. To many Nigerians from across Niger, Abolowo is a saga, a hero, an exceptional leader, and they are right. Abolowo's ambition for himself and his people cannot be questioned and deserve to be defined by his people. I tell you, if Yoruba have to kill all of us, so they can prosper. It's, that is normal. It's good for them. No normal Yoruba can insult Awolowo. Because whatever he did, it was for himself and his people. Show me that man from Biafra land who is willing to sacrifice and go to the lions then and fight because of himself and Biafra. I will respect that man. Not because of what you will get. Not because so that you rule us when you, when you get the freedom for us. Not because we become your slave to all your generation. These people don't have interest in themselves. I must prosper. My people must prosper. That is how life is supposed to be. German cannot be killing Germans to protect, Jam to protect, cannot be killing German to protect other people. America will not kill America to protect anybody. 
China, Japan, India, no country of the world that is normal. We kill anybody to protect uh, the, the, another, another people. There are people to protect another people. Only in Nigeria you see that. But to me, as an Igbo man, from the other side of River Niger, Awolowo has a different kind of legacy. Being a descendant of the innocent Kwashoko children, mother and elderly, Awolowo remain a valiant. And our history will forever be unkind to him. Go and look at what happened to the generation of Biafran between 1967 and 1970. You will not see our salmon. Our didn't do anything. Full animal did not do anything. It was middle bed from Biron to Nupe to TV. They were regarded as willing to. They killed for our son, full ani. Yoruba was there giving them all the necessary intellectual support they need to justify this heinous crime against our people. Praise be to Awolowo, friend of Ojuku, friend of Ojuku. Today, when Niger Delta man, as they call them, come out and say, no, we will not support Biafra. No, we will not support Igbo. We want to intellectually, wickednessly, how do I put it? We want to silence the voice of truth. You cannot silence the voice of the truth. You will only create fire from within that will consume all of us. Every day I keep imagining, I keep battling. Why will Ojuku release Awolowo and leave Adakaboro in the prison? This is the beginning of the infiltration into the Biafra nation. When I open this line, please come and justify that action. Ojuku remain one man I will forever reference. And when he make mistake, we tell him. Two people have problems. Adakaboro fell to school in Nsoka Enugu. Every day he walked the street of Co City. He was not against Igbo man. Because Enugu have code. This code filled Nigeria for many years. They don't tell you. Before they saw Oye. Adakaboro knew something was wrong. Where Oye was coming, no road, no drinking water till tomorrow morning. He dropped out of Enugu school, went back home. He come from a wedding home and decided to form his own group to fight Nigeria. He did fight for 12 days. He was arrested and locked up in, 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 in uh, Calabar. Could you, I mean, Awolowo committed the same crime. Just the same mistake we have been making all this while. Ujuku came and released Awolowo and said, go and mobilize your people. Let's divide this Nigeria and be good neighbor. I will say, I Benny, 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 Eshegon, Mombo, Jekapadawa. The same way they are still doing the same nonsense to us. And I will who left. He got down and said, Oh, Yoruba, I'm going to do the world. Don't mind Igbo man. No. Let us fight for our own first to leave Igbo man. No. Igbo will kill us. So Igbo agreed you. Igbo are useless. So Igbo, more Igbo, Lori Bruko, Loshi. Any Igbo man will come out and support Yoruba where I am. Thunder will fire you. Don't do it where I am. We'll do it on your own. And then they sit back and say, How do we undo the Igbo? Like they say, The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And the Yoruba said to the Awosa Fulani and British government, we know how to do them. Now, this is what we do to the Igbo. They said their brother they keep in the prison. Adakaburu. Let us go and release him. He will be angry by now and he will cause mayhem. And Yoruba were the one who released Adakaburu. They took Adakaburu to Obasanjo. Obasanjo prepared his mind promise him to give him control over the resources in their land, which he rightly have demanded. And what happened after that? Adekunle, the one who said he will shoot on anything that move, anywhere there is smoke. They saw, yeah, but the guy, this guy, let him cause me him. Because out of sentiment, they just followed him. They were slaughtered across the so-called Niger region, as we see. 
But as somebody said, he would have been a coward if he fought with Ujiku. But this is the handwork of Yoruba. Today, when we say, leave all these people, let's focus on our own. You people will not understand until they will do the same thing to us. The gap between us, we are still struggling to heal it today. But do you know that less than six months after Hadaka Boro was, was jailed, for, locked up indiscriminately, extrajudicially, for what he believed to be right, did Ojuku not do the same thing? And so I will say Hadaka Boro saw this thing before Ojuku. And Ojuku began to articulate and say, no, 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 now I understand. But everything they all fought for, Yoruba made sure it will not come to you. Awolo will make sure. I'm not talking to Yoruba, I'm talking to Awolo. I don't even know if he's full animal. In 1968, Awolo said, all is fair in a war. And starvation is one of the weapons of war. Anything you do is fair. Of course, starvation should be is a weapon of war. Are they not starving you today now? On that lockdown, you don't know what they are doing to you. They will starve you. You will be hungry till you don't have sense again. As I'm talking to you now, with the level of hunger that have beaten you down more than coronavirus, do you know what will happen? Where they give you 2020 now, and now you begin to say, oh, vote for Buhari, vote for Buhari 2023. But you know Buhari is dead. But of course, you need that 20 naira. And you don't know it's a weapon. That is why people like me, I would rather go and chop shit than to eat the bread of sorrow. Blood money, I will not get involved. I won't know what, like I said, in 1968, I won't know what said during the war, one year into the war. He said, all is fair in war, and starvation is one of the weapons of war. I don't see why we should feed our enemy fat in order for them to fight harder. Chief Obafemi Awolowo, as they call the idiot, was the Nigerian Minister of Finance from July 28, 1969. This he reported in an interview in 1983 posted by Punch newspaper. Let us go and crush them. We will pillage their property, ravish their women folks, murder their men folks, and complete the pogrom of 1966. This slogan was broadcasted from Radio Nigeria. This is what they said. That is in 1966. In 1983, Punch newspaper, your Nigerian people, they publish it. They said that the program they did not succeed in doing in 1970. 13 years on, they published this very article in at least July 28, 1983. Go there, Nigeria published an article. This is what they said. Let us go and crush them. We will pillage, pillage their property. We will ravish their women folks. Let us murder their men folks. And complete the, the, the program of 1966 it became a slogan inside nigeria because we don't control the media does it mean we will not have sense when our leader comes is causing yoruba media people don't understand how these people have been able to reset our brain shooting at anything that moves i want to see no red cross no characters no world council of churches, no pope, no missionary, no UN delegates. I want to prevent even one Igbo man having one piece of meat to eat before their capitulation. We must shoot at everything that moves. Benjamin Adekule, idiot scorpion, Europa. I told you, what amazes me, I have been tr trying to see what Awosa man did to Igbo man. I have not seen but I know they are behind it. I've been trying to see what Fulani did directly. I have not seen, but I know they are behind all the evil. Why is Yoruba and Medo Bed championing all this evil? And why have they failed to repent? Do they think we are coming to kill them? No. But if we get this Biafra by the will of the creator without you repenting, in 1,000 years, this war will still range. 
You cannot stop us. You cannot kill us. The more you delay it, we will feed the, our anger to the soul of our children. We can never unite. We can never romance until we are divided. This was a problem you have with the query man. The query man resisted being a Biafran for a very long time. A crime he did not deliberately commit. Because after the war, they seize Igbo man property and hand it over to Igbo man. Use it to stain Ikwere man name in the name of abandoned property. And then later on, they gave gun to Okala Bakileka to collect all the whole abandoned property. Those of you in the, in the river state, go and check who are the people controlling that abandoned property. That Ikwere man will have to suffer for the rest of his life. But we told you, we have passed that stage and we have moved on. There is no Igbo man alive today who even remember abandoned property. They have moved on. Yoruba, you have to move on. 10% will not save you. Middle bet, move on. Look at how they are poisoning all of you. The war left Nigeria. More polarized, more divided than ever. Created one of the most famous mortal enemy Nigeria is facing today. Ethnic bigotry from all sides. Where best should we start to heal and confront this enemy, if not from the ashes of Biafra? This is 30th of May. What are we going to see? What are we remembering? Oh, today is 30th of May. We are remembering those who died. Oh, Kwashoko killed them. Oh, Kwashoko, you are evil. Kwashoko will not kill us again. Oh, Lord, we remember those who died out of raping. Oh, Fulani raped them. It's by mistake they raped them. Oh, oh God, oh, our people died. Oh, hey, it was famine. Oh, hey, God, oh. Is that what we are going to see on a hero's day? We have the right to know what happened to them. And the masterminder of this evil, from beginning to the end, are all Yorubas. Adekule, the black scorpion, did his job well. He and Awolo was following Adakabro through the whole Niger Delta region, as they call it. Ravaged every woman, killed everybody. And when Adakabro is done, they killed him. Obiwali was among this conspiracy. Eleti Martin was around this conspiracy. Ken Sarowiwa was around this conspiracy. After the war, they came forward to demand Nigeria, let us control our resources. Nigerian killed Ken Sarowiwa. Nigerian killed, uh, arranged the assassination of Obi Wale. Today now they say he's a Che woman, his girlfriend, a Che woman, his ass girl, a Che woman. Go and meet that woman and find out how they killed Obi Wale. Only one person survived that, the death, and that is a uh, Navy Captain Elechi Martin. The one from around Rokoko area in Port Harcourt. The moment he noticed the danger, the guy just hid up and shut up. He sold more than almost all his community land before he died. When he's hungry, we now make call. Anything for the boys, government will give him small money, we go and hide again. If they delay, he will sell community land. Because he saw what killed others and he ran back. Anybody playing Sabuto against Biafra, you don't know your fate. You don't know what is coming for you. You will have recompensation from Biafra. You will be recompensated by Yoruba, Wasafu, and everybody will pay you back. Biafrans, the issue is that these people did not repent. That is why they will not show any rumors. That is why they continue doing what they are doing. Of course, at this moment, our lines are open and I will be back in a minute. Special dedication to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPM families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War. Mm -hmm. 
in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, want my revive the vanishing hope to life. Ah, uh, let the great Biafra army the fight. And they were singing out. Holy, 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 all the men will do. He's another savior. They were singing out. Holy, 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 all the men will do. He's another savior. Holy, 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 all the men will do. He's another savior. Another great leader has risen up now. Oh, and he's leading the Biafras to victory. In your Madika, Yabika, Kokwana, Loa. Hey, I love my Kelemas, who check me for one more. It's an honor having you on board. When I'm singing, holy, 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 Yes, of course, at this moment, our lines are open. Our WhatsApp line remains 070 Our direct line is 081 five two nine seven one our direct line i repeat once again is zero eight one two two one five two nine seven one and the special number for the female is zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four zero eight one two eight eight five eight six one four our message is simple biafran freedom is all that we are calling for is all that we are here for call on the line your name and where are you calling from good morning sir good morning from here <laughs> yes good morning all the other wherever you wherever you are and i make a little odegu now pursue this our different nation and i make the china to make i didn't depart make a little money i greet all of you the poor the members of ipod i greet all of you in the name of yahushua 
Mazoni be. Biko. I know me him like the last time, please. But the one more, one more opportunity. You know your line. Biko Karobi O. Enola. Thank you very much. We cannot question the creator. Yes. Okay. Now we are in Abba, and my name is uh, Obama. Hello, I'm from the uh, Asian Kingdom, it's no much, the Afro land. So what I'm saying this morning, our hero's day is target man, and the being after today, what other states is doing? Okay, see, it's everywhere. In open market three, three, three times in week. And that day, and the, and the, you know that, that's today, that was no day. You come say, the market open Monday, Wednesday, and that day, you see how we get nurse. This is for us. What I'm saying now is, our heroes day, the men get me. And when you know, get married, we must sit at home, we must and fasting. We must remember Ojupu and all our parents, fathers who fought for our freedom during 57, 58, 59, 70. Please thank everybody. Remember our fighters, men, every member of IPOD, every lover of freedom, every diaphragm. Please, I urge you, this is our hope, and then we have other hope. Now we are friends. And I make a le odogu, which I make for go odogu. And I make the only thing, only be dalo mela. But can only no many zo mo mo. What are the no many zo mo mo? They can be rest assured about it. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you, my brother. We must continue. The people must understand what is our story when the children of israel were in the wilderness they were suffering what was their story go and look at the psalmist what was david complain my problem oh lord has gone above my head like the flood more water of life it has consumed me Come to my aid, O oh Lord, and deliver me from this enemy who I know nothing about. For if you keep quiet in your silence, O oh Lord, they will destroy me. Come with your angels and sword in their hand, pursuing them. Let their path be dark and slippery. For you, O oh Lord, is my hope and stay. And then generation after generation, they have nothing to tell the Creator regarding their freedom. But with a solemn song, day and night they sing. By the rivers of Babylon, where we sat down, and there we will, when we remember Zion. By the rivers of Biafra land, where we sat down, and now we will, as we remember Biafra. Yoruba Anna was a carried us away captivity just to steal our oil for British government. That is our song. Call our WhatsApp, are you there? Call her on WhatsApp, turn down the volume of your radio set. Turn, of course, he's not even listening to his call. Call her on the line. Are you there? Call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Yeah. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good morning from here. Turn down the volume of your radio set. Yeah, I'll take that. Mazoni, but Mechuku Okike Abiyama bless you. Mechuku Okike Abiyama fight your battle. Mechuku Okike Abiyama bless and fight the battle of every ipub member fighting 
working assiduously for the restoration of Biafra in the name of Chukwu Kika Biyama. Matthew Nibe, I had your topic this morning and uh, telling you the truth, every day I listen to you personally, I've been educated. I learn a lot from what is happening. Uh, that makes me to remember what Obasanjo did when he was the president of Nigeria and when he was one of the military against the people of Biafra. Now, Obasanjo still did the same thing that Aulo did because I remember both uh, uh, Udi Masaka or the whole place Obasanjo his, used his men to wipe away the Biafra for no single reason. Because myself, I don't know how to praise, but I feel that uh, Obasanjo, the cause, the tears, the blood that people he have waste in the land of Biafra, Obasanjo, that will go back to him and his generation. He is just banging and fighting, pretending as if he's uh, supporting our director, pretending as if he's doing the other run, way around to our director. No. They think the we are Mugu. No. They think we are Mugu. They think we are yes. Mugu. When they go to their inner chamber and discuss a battle, they say, don't worry, we know how to catch them. We know how to catch them. Igbo man wants them to accept him. Igbo man have been broken to the level that uh, just throw come for them. And then one idiot will come. Oh, Igbos are resilient. Who resilient pay inside Nigeria? Another idiot will come. Oh, Igbo cannot be de de destroyed. Who who want to remain in Nigeria alive? They now post something. We begin to say, hey, hey, hey. Yoruba man say we are formidable. If Yoruba man will give testament of me, and then I will not agree. That is why they are the one writing yeah, our yeah. history. Check the history of any Biafra man. Yoruba is the one who wrote it. Have you seen the colonial terrorists tell you they did evil into Africa? They no, justify no. everything they are saying. An idiot will come and say they, they will recolonize us. Thunder will fire all their fathers and their generation on board. As far as your enemy writes your history, you cannot reason properly. Hate that which hates you true. for God's sake. They yes. set small trap. All of us fall, fall inside it. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, Mazi Jojo Nibe. So, what Obasanjo did and the rest of them, Obasanjo must be paid with the same coin because my happiness is this: those dear friends that is working hand in hand with Yahoo Safulani and the rest of them, I know that what happened to Ojinzo Kalu will be just a little lesson. Don't mind your joy because of House of Fulani have given him maybe 10,000 naira to go and take chieftaincy title. Don't mind rest of them. They will face their own cause. Because now Obasanjo think that he have loot. You know, when somebody's alive, when he loot money, he will become defender to his to loot money. Because of uh, uh, the one that called himself uh, uh, Abacha is dead. Every time Abacha loot, Abacha loot. Because of Abiola is dead, every time Abiola loot, Abiola loot. What of Babangida and the Obasanjo? What of all of them? Those people do not loot because of they are alive. But the whole people which Obasanjo killed, may their generation uh, uh, blood, may their generation spirit, may everything that chase human out of human be, will be fall of Obasanjo, wherever he is. I don't know how to praise him because I have never seen the good thing about Obasanjo, or the way Obasanjo treat Igbo good. I have never come across any good thing that comes from Obasanjo to the Bia France. Even if the the uh, the this uh, in drama in Potakot, I heard what Obasanjo did in that in drama. That somebody that have power plant. When I was working with the, uh, along with the man, the man told me that Obasanjo was the person that makes his power plant not to work because the place he went and those people promised him to give him a chance of land for him to build his power plant. Or during the Obasanjo regime, Obasanjo was the person that said that thing would not get hurt because the man is an Biafran. The man went outside Biafran land and built that power plant. 
This is how they have been working. Now, Abbasanjo said that, that people are saying Abbasanjo have go pastoral school. Now he's a pastor. That is the devil and the hellfire pastor. Because I know the devil have his own pastor. Go so, one, go one is a pastor. No be today, now she did back. All of them can become pastor. Me self, I'm a pastor. Go one is a pastor. <laughs> Buhari is a pastor. Yeah, Eru is a pastor. You, but your own is different. One Kwaso is a pastor. Ndiara, every oh, day. Is a pastor. All of them pastor. I, I thought you have even forgotten. <laughs> so man, you say pastor. Thank so man, so you, but let me just let me, let me just conclude. Me because for the fact these people make me personally to live, I will eat one because I will reserve the food which I will eat in the morning for my children, the one afternoon for my children. Then in the night I will manage a little one that we have together so that man will not die. For the fact they will, they have made their friends to suffer for the fact they have made our leader to live in exile for his people for the fact they have made our people the father of our leader and the mother to be buried at the same time for the fact they have made 28 people to die in the house of our leader for the fact they have made to destined to kill the dog because any security man that have killed a dog killing in fellow security for the half for they have done all this evil May this evil locate them seven times in the name of Chukwu Kikabiyama. He say, he say. Thank say. you very much. Thank you, John. A point, a point of correction there. Our leader is not in exile, but his omission. His omission. People don't understand. Nigerians don't know what is coming. It can't be an exile. His omission. And when he's done with his journey, he's going to come back. Moses had to leave Egypt temporarily to conclude the arrangement with Elohim until he came back. And Egypt never remained the same again. For the night they left, they plundered the, the wealth of Egypt. That is according to the word of God. And for your information, before you forget, you have to join our leader, Mazen and the Kano, on Radio Biafra, live broadcast tomorrow being Sunday, the 10th day of the month of May, the year of Chuko Kika Biyama 2020, at exactly 7 p.m. Biafra time, as he continue to tear down the zoo called Nigeria and all the idiot in Asurok. He was going to give you a public tip on ice bogging uh, 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 topic, which is going to help you understand how they are using Artificial intelligent robot and other idiots to control over 200 million people. And so if you want to know what artificial intelligence is all about, please make sure you are there. He has simple assignment. Hole in the neck. Buhari neck, it will fall out. Additional, we soon come and, and tell you that oh, Buhari head has to fall out because every president head used to fall out. You hear? Caller on WhatsApp. Yes, my big brother. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Lovers of freedom all over the world. I greet you in the name of God Almighty, Chuku Biyama. And uh, my greeting go to our, our great leader, Mazen Nam. May God Almighty continue to bless each and every one of us, we IPOB members all over the world, must be judging me the God Almighty to protect you and guide you with the entire household. I listened to your broadcast this morning, my brother, it's wonderful. The things that the Nigerian people, so-called Nigerian, they keep to us in hidden lane for many years ago. Thank God Almighty that he gives to you people to us, that we are listening to you people. May God Almighty continue to give you that strength and power that you continue to do the work for us with the dear friends. It's not you people that God has done for us. We, many of us, we don't know where we belong to. I pray to God always that you should bring Biafra to us, that the country that we will call our own country, the country that we will remember the ones, our heroes, the fallen heroes, that the Nigerian ones take away their life from us. May that soul, may that blood continue to fight them to the entire, entire generation. They will never get rest. They will never get peace in their life. What they do to Biafran people, I listen to the radio station from Biafran radio. I have, in my life, I never hear the truth 
concerning about the Biafra. I never hear the truth concerning about that new country called Nigeria. If not Radio Biafra, I will not know where to find the truth. May God who sent Onyendo Mazi Namdekano, may God Almighty continue to protect him. He did not lose of any of his things. The reward is coming from God, not from us, not from any man. He's not fighting this fight because of to get the president tomorrow. He's not fighting this fight to get what? So to get mansions tomorrow. He's fighting this fight for every one of us to live as a normal living being, as God, Chuko Kuchabiyama, created us to be. So, lovers of freedom, anywhere all over the world, you listen to my voice, please and please join hands together. Let us do the needful. Let us get away from that fucking country called Nigeria, that stupid country, that begging ground, that blood sucker that country called Nigeria. It is not a country. It is where everybody go and buy. Every foreigner go to buy and kill and destroy to take and go. We do not belong to Nigeria. And forever, forever in my life, I will never dream to see Nigeria. It is a shameful country. It is a shameful people. It is a people that they don't know what life consigning about. So that is what it is Nigeria. So please and please, Mazi will give me a little time. Let me talk to my brothers and sisters all over the world. Listen to my voice in my dialect. Go ahead, please. please. My brothers and sisters, Bobane given in Kelvin here. Who are young in who are young in East Art, Gena Kumbelikel, make Kun you just to Christian and one Miguel elephant about two people who can bear my Timamana no, eighteen years in my image with Yeji. My see, Miss Mamma no, my Kung woman, join the war in the IPOD. The one ye the shilu hold the puna on the fana you be after. And who can do them and will lead to and heli war in front of the local is in the mass in Namdi Kano. Upano Union will anna for as many thousand years ago. Anna the le no, I can't even you my way there. Zero, let my people go. I can't even you my way there. I bow by Nak Ali, lean the lady follow the Afra. Little follow born with the lady yet to born and know you. But when I give you children, meet my man, no, my journey why is it in the ITOB men or ITOB family? The wine ye all over the world. The wine ye the wine is secret called the wine. The wine the wine, Udia Yan, he giant, Benjamin wine that ye ye the wooden of Noah, meet my man, no, I join the wine, hating as you might. Taking as you might imagine, you give me Obaniku, Ogudu, Ekom, Ogoja, Iako, eating as you, Ija, and again, the Kom, the waiting and the wine, Iha, so Utimit Mamana, no, kill the wine, join, kill the wine with family, and so that all the low through Hogan, or through family Lugan, or through Hogan, the whole bondage of Satan and Wu Bong of Colo Nigeria, when I enjoy a clip lie, who be after no your bottom. So meet my man and know who you are. But when I give you tell you, you see my join the world Biafra. You see my join the world is the reason the ICOB family. When I say we do thank you from this man, which is Biafra. The year the world is now, my forget her grandma and she will leave you and you will be killing me and you will watch and you will be able to tell me that this is what we have here, this is what we have here, but you will be able to tell me. But my shall I have been a little hit, Benda. But when you are only on the show, you know, no, little on the show, you know, little on the show, and young will only do San Jaho Bombiasta, for no, you will do it and mark the name of the channel. Who for no, only your promise, man, Rota. Who for no, you, only young will tell you who born Hona, who for no, she yaya, Kelly, Lipabo, Yaya, she need one nera, who two nera, who five cobo, one dollar, anything as you will, she try own the law support. The wine in the little car, your shoe, you pull over water and water and the after. Who smith mamma no, or one leggy, when you tell her in there, meet mamma, no, make me just and one big yellow part of it, mamma, no, my journey wine. Thank you so much, lovers of freedom all over the world. May God Almighty continue to bless their friends all over the world for the good work they are doing for us. Your reward will come from God, not from us. This is my name is Marvis Kenneth and the civil com, coming from Ubudu Luka government under Cross River State. Land. Thank you very much. Thank we you must so much. Caller on WhatsApp, are you there? Caller on WhatsApp. Uh, good afternoon, Ma Onibe. Good afternoon from South Korea. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Ma my name is uh, Ifan Chuku. I have from uh, Kigwe province in Imo, uh, Biafra Land. Uh, before I go further, I want to I'll say my send my condolences for the loss of your younger brother, 
I take care of my brother. I know it's not easy. Uh, all I can say is that uh, may God uh, accept his soul in his paradise and may all his sin be forgiven by Almighty in Jesus' name. And I also thank you for uh, the great job you're doing for us. I want to appreciate God for our union do our Messiah, our Lord and uh, our, our present Savior, Mazenam Dekano, our director, wherever you are. May God Almighty protect and guide you. May God grant you all the knowledge you need, all the wisdom, every resource you need for you to restore this our country. May Chuku Okike give it to you. You are the the only leader I've ever seen in my life. No one is like our director at this, at this very moment in the whole world. Nobody is like our director. Director, may God protect you. Our deputy, my prayer goes to you, your family. You're doing a wonderful job. God protect you and all be our friends, wherever you are, making sure that we restore our country so that all of us will go back to our beautiful nation. May God provide and bless you in the name of Chuko Kikabia, my prayer. Mazi Olibe, I want to thank you so much. And what I want to say from what you have been teaching us uh, since mainly this morning uh, about uh, Yoruba media, that's why I respect our director so much. Because they, they damage this, they are, this uh, I mean, the Yoruba media, they are worse than Boko Haram. They are worse than Fulani. They are worse than anything you can think of. Because this, uh, if you come to uh, rivers like a uh, riverine area in Biafra land, Whenever they kill it at night, the uh, uh, Fulani, other DPO, or any of them will give uh, the Yoruba journalist money to say that it is a cultist, cultist that is killing a river an area. When they kill in a, uh, like a northern area, they will say it is a bandit. Meanwhile, they know that those people that committed this crime doing this killing, they are Fulani henchmen that are doing all this killing. But, the way they will pay the Yoruba media, they will write nonsense. They, they will write to whatever, as far as we are giving the money, they will write nonsense. They say that this is uh, bandit, this is cultist. Meanwhile, they are the Boko Haram, the Fulani henchmen that are doing the killing and the, 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 the destructions. So I want to thank you for your, the way you are, educate, you are educating us. Because whenever I listen to you, I always learn. I always learn. And uh, let me just make a small prayer. If anyone from Biafra land that hate our director, that doesn't want us to have our freedom, that still wants us to be in that zoo, before this month runs out, that person will die. Okoro Awosa, you are the greatest enemy we, are, we have in our, in our land by bringing hope also in Nemo State. Bringing all the flannies in our state, even in the world, everywhere you go, you see all these flanny houses everywhere, dominating our land, ready to kill us. Chukwo Kikadiyama will destroy your as I say, it's so shall it be. If you are an enemy of Biafrans, if whatever we are doing as a Biafrans, that we, as we are trying to restore our country, and you don't like it, you are fighting our director, you are fighting our IPOP, may Chukwo Kikadiyama destroy whoever that is against our Biafra restoration. May God in heaven destroy the person. The person shall not live to see the end of this very month. Thank you very much. As I pray, so shall it be. Thank you, Mazi. As I'm out from here, South Korea, may God bless you, Mazi. Thank you so much. Yes, a caller on the line. Caller on the line. Good morning from here, Monitoring Spirit. May you go to Gaza and continue to bless you forever and ever because you have done well for the other. And may you go to Gaza and bless our people, my sister. May the Almighty you go to Gaza and continue to strengthen our leader, encourage him, and make him as fever as iron so that he can be able to push this last to push to make sure that the Afra is restored. In the name of people to carry on, I say. They are friends all over the world, the next day. We are going home. On your own room, we will be no problem. We said now that our leader has no problem. And the president is there, making sure that this is our friend, that the, the damage is repaired. The Afra is the last to go. Every human being on this planet has. What America, what Japan, what 
paying that for. Any nation on this planet Earth, the only remedy for this world to continue to exist is for the Africa to be I'm telling you because put me, nobody can stop. Not in this stop. Nobody can stop the Africa. The Africa has come to stay. And the, every Africa all over the world go and the, go and the take Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Go and read this. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. But now, nice, very important. Ecclesiastes chapter 2. But 23 and 20, very, very important. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and the chapter 4. Chapter 4, but now, nice, very important. What are we chasing after? What? This was we are a bishop, we are a pope, we are a because our blood is just die. That is why it is taking us very, very, very long time for us to respond. Otherwise, do you think that he be a Every real be a friend. One black man to say, those people that are spoken against the Africa, they are not our blood. That is the blood that you make this day. I'd like to let me warn you people. Joshua, Joshua chapter 10. Joshua chapter 10. But hey, but we are starting and fourteen. Go there and say, don't try to start there. This is from one to end. But hey, but we are starting and fourteen. On that day, on that day, the sun will start there and the moon will stop moving. Can't take it. Our leader said this. You people don't have time. Why can't you? Do you know that it's so for God's sake that I have no sleep? Why are you that? We are working with him for the time our leader will just open his mouth and say, Let us speak God. If our leader decides that we will speak God because our leader, our leader holds it because people don't know. Let them give us their trust. I am telling you, if it's after that aspect of this world, people will still want that. And the violations of the women match. When we come to Trump and give him that last respect, all work. All work kind of idea, but I'm giving you work. On a top and on the why you people are afraid is because they are food. My joy is that the people to go back to the other side. They are there. Immediately, this thing starts. Immediately, it starts. Back to me. The only people that is free is the people that went back to their roots. If you start to say, I have 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 to say, Thank you very much. We yes, Colin was up. Are you still there? Colin was up. Of course, that is Zoo Epileptic Network. But what to do? We must continue. Biafras must understand. I must use this privilege to encourage our people. A lot of people are hungry here in Biafra land. Don't wait till you bring it on television and social media before you help them. Help them. They are killing us with hunger virus. You have enough. Look at your neighbor who don't have anyone to eat. Help them, please. Help them. Rich, rich men, look out your window. There are a lot of people close to you, hungry, want to kill them, help them. Call on the line, are you there? Call on the line. Hello, Mazo, you there? Go ahead, Hello, please. Martin. Good morning from here. Good morning. Uh, please, I want to speak, my darling. Go ahead, please. Um, my name. My name is Chiyoke Wankwo. I am Chiyoke Wankwo. I'm from uh, Abakleki province. Uh, then, we have a lot of things is happening in our land here. We have a lot of things here. I want to tell you, I get Jala Zera in the room. You know, you hear what I want to say, and I can move and bring out to her. Can my city major on you there? You know, what do you have? No more, a lot of things, you know, you know, you discuss your obedient neck and if you want to, I'll call you in later in the evening. Thank you very much. Uh, can my city, uh, Gidegodi, I call you go to our call you back. Thank you very much. We must continue. 
like I was saying, you are a Biafran. It really doesn't matter. Look at those your neighbor. I was somewhere buying something yesterday. And a man and the wife came. They were making choice. Do they buy Indomie or do they buy beans? They were analyzing it. I was touched. You have no idea what people are going through. All the idiots ruling Nigeria don't understand what they are doing to people. All of them are locking everywhere down so that they can collect their own share from Big Gate. And they pretend, hey, we are fighting coronavirus. Just the same way Nigeria is fighting corruption. But at the end of the day, we will know who is deceiving God here. Call on the line your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is I Go ahead. Good morning from here. <laughs> Oh, you go, you go, you go ahead. <laughs> good morning, yeah. I'm very, very happy this morning. You hear, you see, that I am alive to see a new bright day. Even unto you, my brother. I thank God for the numerous miracles that we have been in our land. Thank God for his work. God is fighting for us. That is why he said that he will fight for us so according to his word, that we will hold on our peace. Now, according to what you have been saying this morning, you see, Awasa Alamajiri, there are everywhere. You see, the market is short. They said that we should stay inside though, and wash our hands and close our mouth. You see, now we are in the house. But Awasa Alamaji. They are everywhere. They are coming to Abba. Peace and uh, um, um, uh, 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 um, parading everywhere. Awosa is coming. Yet yeah, over there again. Every day. They who open the, uh, the, the road for them. I don't know. But they know. You see, Nigeria is finished, my brother. Yes, Nigeria is finished. Gary has died. The assistant has died. Chief of staff. Have died, have died. What remain there? Nobody. That is why my, my leader said that as a rock is empty. Yes, of a truth, as a rock is empty. The thing that is holding us now is this, this media and uniform and army uniform. And I pray that God will snipe them away because he said in his word that the, that the castle of Ahitos, that he God will bring it into foolishness. And I pray that that day, in this, in no distant time, that the, all the council of these media and the uniform, the army, police, the, that God will bring them into foolishness. I thank God for you, my brother. In all this that is happening, all this while, they say on Monday or Wednesday, they will close, they will open market for us. Thank you, Master What are we going to do in this time? You know that hungry is killing people. But I thank God in this area that God is providing for us because he promised us that he will not allow us to go hungry. And that is his war. He is standing with him on his war. I thank God for all dear friends. My dear, everywhere you are hearing my voice this morning, hold on your peace. You see this musician that are flying like a, a, a crab. All of them shall fall down one time. At a second, all of them will be like that they will fall down, and that will be a great story to us. That is why my leader said that I will sleep like a, a Nigerian. In the morning, I will wake up like a Biafra. Oh, wonderful. And I pray that God will grant all our prayer requests. This time around, that hungry is killing everybody. That God will make us to see a, a, a Biafra. Thank you, my sister, Johnny. Continue with your good work because you are learning a great foundation. Which no man can pull down. My name is Tano Wabuti, as you say. Thank you, my brother. Have a wonderful new day. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And of course, this is where we draw the curtain for this segment. We are reaching you live and direct from Iyurugudu. 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 Radio Biafra Extra is reaching you live from Agbo. Orugodo, very close to Urugudu, I must tell you. 
do not forget that our leader will be on air. Our leader will be on air on Sunday at exactly 7 p.m. Biafran time. At exactly 7 p.m. Biafran time. He is going to expose how they are using artificial intelligent robots to rule or to control over 20 million people. 200 million people, I beg your pardon. Nigeria will not have any rights in place. Don't win Get ready, prepare your data while he continue exposing the zoo for what they really are. Like I said before, make sure the poorest man around you, as a Biafran, take care of them. Take care of them. If, in fact, even when you are feeding Yoruba and I was who are hungry around you, still tell them we want Biafra. Still tell them we want Biafra. Feed all of them because some of them are idiots who are just playing by the rules of infidels. Anybody ruling Nigeria and you are enriching your family on the expense of the people, you are our true enemy. Our true enemy are those people who are ruling Nigeria into debt. At the expense of Nigeria, you, you, you buy private jet, your evil will catch up with you. And of course, I will take one more call and sign off from this segment. Can you hear me, Kola and Waza? Yeah, I've got them in Kemba and Biafra land. Good morning from Warsaw, Poland here. Miss Grant, Miss Grant. Yeah, yeah, Miss Grant. <laughs> but you are yeah, number but... 130, Miss Grant. <laughs> because <laughs> our leader is number, number one. one. <laughs> this is what I miss country okay for the music from Warsaw Poland. I have from Omaka, Omaka City Mansion, a lot of things up here for that. But I appreciate our one and uh, and uh, all his loved nuns and uh, as well as appreciating every heart call there from being the need for. But I know you don't have more time. But we are talking about the atrocities of the so-called uh, Fulanis. And the middle bed are fought their France. Yeah, Maz, you got it very right. Maz, even at that, Obasanjo, Obasanjo, his atrocity. No, <laughs> Obasanjo, he committed a lot of crime and he's still committing. Now he's trying to be a pastor, eh? Okay, but he brought he brought every dent. First tax 77. He brought whatever all the idols in the whole world. He brought it in that zoo country. That first tax 77. Let people let not forget about first tax himself who initiated it is about Sanjo. But outside that, what you said now is very, very sympathetic. And I've been saying this. Let people help their own community. Make your own palliative. We call our own, we call it COVID-19 palliative to Umar Zala Oba. And I thank God every village, every town, every kindred in Omaka are following suit. They don't have to wait for onion do, to do everything. Get your people together. Gather your people. Those of them in abroad, give your people food. Food is live. Without food, a hungry man, the writer to say it, a hungry man is an angry man. A hungry man don't do what we are doing. If you are a hungry man, you cannot do it. Foundation, this is what is happening to build a house. Now, please let our people do the needful. But secondly, I have to tell our beloved Imo Light, wherever they are. I continue to see it. And I have some of my brother calling from South Korea, North Korea. They have not called me. Adaria please call us. We have a challenge in Imo State. Call my number, plus 487396726386. We want to flotate every nook and cradle of Imo State with the radio Biafra. We need transmitter. Mas, we want every person, every community in Biafra land is getting this radio. Mas, we have started. This is number one. Issue, issue more. Issue of people do. The number one thing is to make sure that our people are getting this radio Biafra. Because 1967 to 1977, Okokon then was broadcast and everybody was having radio Biafra. And as time went on, very, very soon, we'll be taking radio like our some people. Our people will be having this lady in their hand wherever they are going. It's very, very important. That is the aspect of the whole thing. We want to make sure that every look and credit of Imo State now. And this project is very, very short. Let's say three weeks to one month program. We are finished. We have a target. Please call the number and do the need for and answer your name. Kobo Bego, call us and do the need for. And if you have given you any account before, please overlook that and call for a new account. 
Masi, thank you. Chuko Kaya, keep you in there, Wester. Thank you very much. Thank you. And this is yeah. where we draw the curtain for this morning segment. Like I said, I must appreciate every man and woman who has made it possible for me to come on air. Chuko Kikabiyama will be your strength in the days of your trouble. He will shield you and he will never leave you at the mercy of your enemy. Do have a wonderful day as you go about your normal and lawful businesses across the globe. Ndei Wono. Biafran's Got Talent exclusive. After this heavy rain, please let the sun rise. Our lives are in danger, siblings and more that all day long we have been ruled by strangers. Don't let us perish in the hands of our enemies. enemies.